Hey guys, Tiger here, and today we are doing a P51D review. You will need to research P51A and B in order to research this plane. So we're gonna give a review, and if you want to know the paint job on this plane, we have the default paint, red tail, blue tail, bare metal and black tail we have the black tail it can be armed of tiny tim rockets and 4 hva 4 hvar rockets okay here is our mustang now i just want to say a few things about this plane this is a more sophisticated design of the Mustang. It's very different from the P51C, A and B. Mainly because maintaining this plane is very hard. The repair cost is 7.2k silver. The plane is a great climber. It's very fast at high altitude and low altitude you can outperform any plane if you beam and zoom the only disadvantage of this plane will be the 50 cars the 50 cars do not penetrate the enemy plane well it does not give enough penetration so you need to use the 50 cars as your advantage in the beam and zoom I'm gonna show you how to use the 50 cars so we're going to engage Skyline Aim for the engine or the cockpit Aiming for the cockpit will guarantee pilot kill Aiming for the engine will guarantee burning If the plane burns you can just leave him Go for the different target Aim for the cockpit or the engine. Well, we're gonna use the 50 cars against the pilot. He did absorb a lot of rounds there. So we're gonna climb back up using our booming zoom. If you want to survive, keep this plane at a high altitude. And this plane needs speed to perform. If you lack speed, you will not survive the game. And you will be baited by other planes. We're gonna aim for the cockpit again. We injured his pilot, we killed his pilot, and we climb back up. I've seen other Mustang pilots going for a turn fight, that's okay, but turn fighting with this plane you will just lose a lot of energy and this will give advantage for turn fighters and heavy fighters. This plane is an energy fighter so you need to preserve speed in order to survive. Always climb back up. This plane needs to be at high altitude. Never fly low with this plane. Once we reach enough altitude we're going to boom and zoom again. If you want to use this plane with the API or the API HE rounds, you need to know that maintaining the plane is very hard and costly because you will not make a lot of money out of this plane due to supply cost and ammo supply cost. You will only make an average of 2k silver or 4k silver, which isn't that bad. Uh, but you need to know that you can get a lot of death in this plane if you don't use it correctly. 7.2k silver repair cost is quite a lot, so try not to die off this plane. So, we previously hit the pilot there and we manage to kill him we get attacked so we disengage this plane is very lightly armored 
We're well, gonna use our speed as our advantage to escape Reload. enemy fire. We're gonna climb back up and outperform the enemy plane. This plane is an excellent climber. Use it. Use this advantage. We're performing a boom and run tactic. We're basically climbing and descending to get more speed and escape the enemy fire. P-51D is my favorite plane by the way, I really love this plane, um, but the design models are quite similar in the one in War Thunder, so same rules apply if you do play War Thunder, use this plane as a boom and zoom, never fly low. In this case, we are in War Wings, so let's talk about War Wings. Um, so yeah, use this plane at high altitude and always escape the enemy plane when you're being chased. Don't compete with them, just use your altitude and I'll perform them because they will stall at high altitude. We didn't really win the game here. We uh, lost lots of tickets from the enemy. Um, the next round I'll be using the API HE and we're gonna review this plane with the new armor build and I'll see you in the next game okay we are here in a new match so we are now armed with the API HE which is a more advanced um, rounds for the 50 caliber so we're going to climb again for boom and zoom. So tips for P-51D pilots, always keep this plane at high altitude. Do not rush in into the enemy, it's not a good choice. This plane needs to be at high altitude and you must use the boom and zoom tactic. The boom and zooming is very basic, you just climb, climb and you push your nose down back onto the enemy and you hit them back with your machine guns. Some cases you will be chased by enemy planes so you will want to escape. Like I said, convert your altitude into speed and you will ensure survivability. So the 50 cars is uh, still weak with the API HE, but it does more penetration. We're gonna aim for the cockpit and the engine. We hit his fuel tank and we kill this pilot. Push up again. We're gonna help our teammate here. He's being chased by two enemy aircraft. Use our altitude as your advantage and Use our speed to catch up with the tailing enemy plane. We disengage, we going for the plane here. Was engaging our teammate. This plane can be a disadvantage for teamwork because it may take time to knock out an enemy plane um, and your teammates will be busy fighting other enemy planes at low altitude and you're the only one up at, up at high altitude using boom and zoom it can be stressful but the plane is designed for high altitude purpose purposes so we need to use that advantage and help the team. We perform the hammerhead maneuver. It's one of those really good maneuver when you're being chased. So you use enough speed, you climb up, up above 1,700 meters. You 
deaccelerate de and your plane will start stalling your plane will turn back upside down and you can engage the enemy plane the enemy plane will be stalling at that point and it's very good to use that maneuver but for now we are in serious trouble we need to use our boom and zoom to help our teammates they are being tailed by other planes so we need to stop the attackers okay how did he not die well, he should have been killed but anyway um just keep using boom and zoom and you'll be fine with this plane if you don't use it well you're just gonna be greedy and you're not gonna help the team you're just gonna die this plane needs speed and altitude to survive we're being followed by a heavy fighter we're gonna use our evasive maneuvers we're gonna use our speed we're gonna outperform him using our Somebody cover my six. boom and zoom Somebody cover we me. climb a high altitude we need more speed we're lacking speed right now so we're Attack gonna push the nose down we're gonna perform the hammerhead maneuver excellent we regain our speed we're gonna climb up again the heavy fighter will struggle it's not a high altitude fighter it does not re it does not gain energy at high altitude so we're not able to compete with us as you see there he is struggling to keep to keep up with us so we're gonna climb up again Use the hammerhead maneuver. And finally, he's being chased. We put a few rounds on this plane. We're gonna go for our last pass. And hopefully, we can get him. We kill this pilot Killing spree. and we win the match. So I want to say a few things about this plane. It's very good, excellent high altitude fighter, best boom and zoomer. But the 50 cals are a, a bit of a problem with penetration and it's very hard to make money with this plane and maintaining is costly. And I'm going to show you here, we have our premium account, but we're still going to show you the repair cost and the fees. So we get 3 kills and 0 deaths, not bad. So there you go. So, always use this plane carefully, and remember to use boom and zoom tactic. Anyway... I hope you enjoy this video, as always, thank you for watching.